like we've matured a lot as people. Um, I think we're very comfortable in our own skin now, whereas before it was a little bit weird being so young and I guess like trying to figure out your way through an industry that was really brand new to us. And um, another thing too is like I feel like before, like for me, it was more of like a selfish endeavor, I guess. Like, you know, when you're 16 or 17, it's like you want to be rock stars. And well, I think that we, it was necessary. There was a lot of things that happened uh, really fast. And uh, I think the time was necessary just to kind of sit down and reflect on what we were going to do. Not only with like our band and, you know, how we were going to continue this. Because, I mean, we were never going to quit the band. Like, you know, our friendship was never going to end. But I think it was necessary to be able to write the songs that we wrote. Um, you know, everybody needs kind of like a time for reflection and to figure out those things. But um, also too, like even on the business end, like we had to figure out a lot of stuff there as well. So yeah, I don't know. That's kind of what it was necessary for, I guess. We started really young. You know, we didn't really know what was going on very early on. And um, I don't know, it was just like we kind of started I don't know, figuring out that there was a lot more to what we had gotten ourselves into than, you know, than what we had originally planned for. And like, that was it. It was just kind of like the business side of things, like, you know, who was working with us, um, you know, just even how we felt, like how prepared we were for what was happening and where we were going to go and what was going to be the next step forward. For me, it was important that, it's like you see so many artists that kind of let other people do things for them. And like, we've always like the idea of like, you know, do it yourself. That's kind of like where we came from. And I don't know, I think it was just, you know, once we started getting involved in, in more things and stopped leaving it to, you know, like I guess like people that didn't necessarily know what they were doing, <laughs> like things started getting better. And not only that, it's like as you get older, um, you realize that in this industry you have to be, it's like, you know, you're this person on stage, but it's like, if you don't put the time into your business, like, you know, nothing good's gonna come of it. And we want people to know, it's like, you can be in a band and be intelligent. Like, you don't have to be like some dumbass that's like, you know what I mean? Like, what's the word? Like, jaded all the time and, you know, fucked up on, you know, drugs or whatever. You know, it's like, you can actually be somebody who loves doing music, performs every night, is nice to people, and, you know, also cares about their business and what's happening to it, so. I think just when the songs were kind of writing themselves, like I know that sounds kind of weird, but um, it's like for a really long time there was almost kind of like a, a block in what was going on because there was so many things. I don't want to say there was so many bad things that were happening, but there was kind of, there was like a snowball effect of so many things that needed to be sorted and fixed. And then once the songs started coming out, it was pretty much by the point where I got pretty angry about everything. and. I don't know, it just kind of came out. Like, you know what I mean? It, it was unplanned. And I never... Rick and James had a big part of it. Um, they're our producers. And uh, they, I don't know, it was just like we were writing these songs and they were, their feedback was really positive. Um, and I don't know, at that point it was almost like, I mean, like, I mean, I needed it. Um, and. Um, it helped out a lot. It's like, you know, it's like when you see that other people believe in what you're doing, it's like you kind of start to believe more in like the strength of, you know, like your own strength, I guess, in a way. And um, I don't know, they really taught me that and they taught me to be, you know, less afraid of certain things. I don't know, with, in terms of the writing process, um, I started writing the songs like on my own just because I, like there was all this stuff going on. Uh, not to sound cliche, it's always emotion. <laughs> But it's like, I, I don't know, I kind of almost had to take like all this negative shit that was going on and turn it into something that felt like a, something like a, somewhat of a purging for me, you know, and then uh, there were very, very bare songs at that point. And then, you know, Rick and James came into it as well. And I don't know, they're really talented guys, really great songwriters. And the, the great thing about them though, too, it's like they were never like, the song should sound like this, like let's rip it apart and make it sound like, you know, a number one hit on the radio kind of thing. Like they're, they have such a great taste in music, like, you know, and um, that, that was something that we uh, shared in common with them and um, just in terms of like the bands that we like. And uh, I don't know, like they were always just kind of like, you know, we know you can do better, like go back. 
like fix it. It's like, what do you really want to say here? Don't hold back. You know, it's like, if you're going to sing this part, like really sing it, you know, like, so that's, they were really great at that. And I think that's something that we needed, you know, because I mean, at one point I felt like I was almost kind of like lugging myself around, you know, with everything that was happening. So I think too, we have never like brought in songs that weren't fully finished to someone else. Yeah. To hear. Like, when we recorded before, we had practice every song and until it was like perfect when yeah. we played it. And this time we still all of a sudden were like a work in progress when we were playing with them. So it was different. Yeah, it was definitely like a different. Uh, yeah, more, we did pre-production, which we've never done before, right? So it's like we had these like bare songs and then we got to sit there and just talk about ideas and like talk about like, okay, well, how do we want this to sound? How do we want that to sound? And, you know, we were all very much part of that process and it was fun. Like, I mean, I really liked doing that. And then by the time we did go in and record the songs, we're like, wow, like these really sound like the way that we've always wanted to sound, you know? And sometimes it's hard, again, when you get kind of stuck in your own rut as a band, where it's like you need fresh ears to come in and tell you, like, you know, to try something different. So. That was a positive thing for us, I think. And maybe if I let him burn. Well, I guess, well, the idea originally came from, I guess, we've always felt like we never really fit in anywhere, and we've been told countless times, it's like, you guys are, you know, too indie for pop, and then you're too pop for indie. So we decided, we thought it'd be funny to, like, create our own genre. So it was never something that was, like, meant to be, like, contrived or, like, overplanned or anything like that. Um, but the idea actually came from, you know, Rick and James, because we, we would have like these conversations in the studio and they always said, they're like, you know, this sounds kind of witchy. And so I don't know, that's kind of like where the idea came from. It just developed. And also, I think it's kind of fun to kind of almost like shed the light on something that people already, I guess, perceive you as, <laughs> you know, yeah. witch for the lack of a better word. <laughs> but yeah, like I think um, that's pretty much it, like that's where it came from. It was just like, we were in a place where we are just like, you know what, if we're gonna do this, we're just gonna fucking do it. And you know, however people want to interpret it, they can interpret it that way. But it just felt like the right title to choose. Like now, like I'm, I don't know, like my priority, and not, not to sound like self-righteous or anything, but um, I, to me, like I really care about what young girls are listening to and what they see on television and in media and I don't know I just want them to know that it's like if we can do it and you know they can do whatever they want and they should never let somebody tell them they can't be something and you know it's like that there's other options that they don't have to be like Rihanna or Katy Perry or any of that you know. Yeah.